My experience in the SEALs uh, both gave me a lot of gifts and uh, cost me a whole lot. Uh, when it comes to my uh, journey after the SEAL teams, uh, it's been 12 years of, of healing, of getting back to uh, being a, uh, what I would say is a whole man. Uh, in order to lead men in the environments that I had to lead men, I had to be completely emotionally disconnected, meaning I could not experience any emotions at any time because they would slow down my decisions or cloud my decisions, and that put me and, more importantly, my team at risk. And so in order to live in a world where you feel no emotions, you got you to gotta have a pretty big break in your system. The second thing is we're constantly in environments that are physically uh, painful and damaging. And on top of that, I was injured a number of times, yet because we were so busy, right, right in the middle of all of this conflict, uh, I chose to not get fixed, right? And so instead of going and getting the surgeries I needed to get to, to be whole, uh, I continued to serve uh, my men because I couldn't stand the thought of leaving them at risk and taking care of myself. And so I had to completely disconnect any sense of feeling to my body, right? My body was in massive pain and breakdown and I'm in environments where if you worry about what your body's telling you, you're gonna quit. And so in order to be what I would consider a God of war, you can't feel anything physically or emotionally and only there living in your brain, making choices based on the information you have, can you be effective. Uh, that enabled me to lead men in horrible environments very effectively, but it doesn't work well with young kids and a wife that loves you in a safe environment. And so that, that stress that's caused from all that trauma has been a very hard path of healing. Yet it gives a bunch of gifts. So one of the biggest gifts that gives me when I got into the civilian world and having to go into companies that have massive problems and diagnose these problems by not having any emotional connection to it, by not having to feel worry or concern or anxiety in my body uh, and having such a sharp intellect that I was able to focus on the problems that they have, I was able to solve problems in companies that no one else can solve. And so that, that was one of the big gifts. The other big gift is that in what we teach today around helping teams coordinate action, most people think that it was what I was taught in the SEALs. And the reality is that I wish that what we teach today, I would have been taught when I started. It would have helped me lead my teams 10 times better than I did. In reality, what I teach comes from a reverse engineering of those high functioning teams. I just took for granted that people performed at this level of my SEALs and coordinated action like we did. I got in and started building my own teams and my first two teams and my first two companies were horrible. And I couldn't understand how asking someone to take out the garbage and they said yes and then they didn't take out the garbage, I didn't understand how that could be, that could work, right? Every time I asked my SEALs to do something, they did it 100% of the time and usually they did it better than I expected. I was lucky in the civilian world if I could get someone to do 50% of what they said they were gonna do, and most of the time it was at a low standard. And so when I was faced by this problem in my own companies, and I started to solve it, I started looking at other companies that we were helping, and they had the same issues. And it was through a reverse engineering of the example of what I saw as a SEAL that's allowed me to distill these concepts and bring those into companies and organizations now. So it isn't a matter of taking SEAL principles and tactics and apply it to business. It really was solving business problems using the example of a high functioning team in the SEALs that enable us to do so well now. So that gift of actually being able to be on a high functioning team and see how that works 
that's been what's enabled me to really produce the biggest changes for organizations now.